All right, let's try out a simple example of virtual programming lab with Java as the programming language. So I'm going to add an activity in eClass or Moodle, and I'll choose virtual programming lab here. And then I'll name it and give it a short description because, well, it's important to have a good name so you can look at it later. You can look it up if you've forgotten something and um, a little short description. It doesn't fundamentally change how the exercise is going to happen, but it, it's good to document things as you make them. So here's my little example, my little description right here. And this is all I really have to do in this uh, setup screen. Just a short and long description, and I can have a display on the page, which is typically good for the students to see when they when they do these sort of activities. I save and display. Then I go to the uh, test activity tab right here to reveal the edit tab. Click it on there, and I name my programming file. The file extension is important. So in this case, I put .java so that VPL knows how to deal with the text for the program that I'm writing. So here I'm just cutting and pasting some uh, some example I found off the internet, just nice and quick. And then I'll hit the icon here for running it. And it's going to give me an error because, well, my class name is wrong. It doesn't match the name of the file. So i got to change that. So i got to change my class name to my Java example so it matches the file name. And I hit the run, I hit save, and then the run icon. So save is the little diskette icon right there. Yep. And then run. And we'll see that uh, it compiles and runs inside of the console or terminal window that appears over top of my activity. And that's it. That's all it's done. But it turns out that I was running it on the default VPL server. So I actually have to set the local execution server, which is the one in our department, uh, in this uh, menu right here. And then I write end of jails so it doesn't go back to that Spanish server. Okay. The, uh, the default server is in Spain because that's where the developers for VPL are. And then I'm just going to go and run the Java file again. I just hit icon right here from the edit tab and we're all good running on our local machine. And there you have it, a quick little example of how to run a Java program within VPL just to test it. And you can try other languages like Python, etc. Mm -hmm.